After traveling three days along the coast of the Red Sea, Nephi mentioned that his family stopped in a valley with a continually running river. But rivers are rare in Northwest Arabia, and until recently, no perennial rivers had been found in the region. In 1995, a pair of LDS explorers, George Potter and Craig Thorsted, got lost while looking for a site known to locals as the Waters of Moses. Misdirected by a guide, they headed north along the shoreline of the Gulf of Aqaba until a magnificent narrow canyon, which ended in a palm-lined cove, broke up the rocky, sandy terrain. They had found Wadi Tayyib Alism, a narrow valley 74 miles south of Aqaba. Remarkably, estimates for daily travel in the Arabian deserts of antiquity range between 15 to 25 miles per day. This valley, with its river, falls just within the plausible distance of a three-day journey. It is impossible to be certain if Wadi Tayyib al Isim is the valley of Lemuel, but the existence of this wadi demonstrates that a river valley like the one described in 1 Nephi chapter 2 exists, and that it is within the distance of a three-day journey from the northern tip of the Gulf of Aqaba. Discoveries like this that shed light on the realities of Lehi and his family's journey can also help readers better appreciate their struggle and the relief that came with the presence of that rare water. No wonder Lehi stopped, built an altar of stones, and gave thanks unto the Lord. And now you know why.